Hello guys and welcome to Till Vacuum Do Us Part and welcome to my fall home tour. This one I'm going to film just a tad bit different. I'll still be showing you all my fall decor that I have up, but I also want to share with you just changes or tweaks or itch to switches that I've made off camera and also just show you some future ideas and just areas that I'm wanting to work on so you guys can just kind of see future content. So if you're new here, go ahead and click that red subscribe button down below and turn Turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of my future uploads. You just click that little bell and let's go ahead and jump straight into today's video. From all things at once without thinking twice. So the first place we're gonna start is the front porch. If it's a little windy, sorry, <laughs> that's just Oklahoma for you. So if you missed my front porch decorating video, definitely go back and check it out. I give all the tips and tricks and just how I decorate this space and what's going on. So if you haven't decorated your fall porch yet or you want to achieve this look next year, um, definitely check that out. It was my most recent video before this one, but I've just got a lot of white mums and pumpkins. This is Mr. Pumpkin Man. If you guys have been around for a while, you know he comes out every October. So he is here. I also show how we assemble him and put him together. It's way easier than you're even thinking it is. And then up here, um, I created this mat last year with my Cricut and I was so proud of myself because it was a lot harder than I was expecting and I didn't think it was going to turn out and it did. Um, so I was so excited to put it back out this year. It actually held up really well. So you can go back and check out that video from last year. I think it was my fall decorate with me. It was just from last year and I show how I did that. Really, really great for gifts and all of that. But this is the front porch. And I knew we would catch up and that we would be the ones left behind. The stories I've been told, they never seem to leave my mind. This is the view when you first walk in to my entryway. Um, another video, a really recent video, was I was trying to lighten this bench. I have that posted as well. It was definitely a fail. A lot of you guys were saying this is probably just a red wood. So no matter how much I try to lighten it, it just has those red tones in it, which actually makes a whole lot of sense and makes me feel a little bit better because I worked all day long and could not get that to lighten. So as far as is just like an upcoming um, project. I'm gonna move to this side so you guys can see it a little bit better. Tiger's just trading me spaces. <laughs> um, I wanna get something new for here. At first, I was gonna do just a lighter bench, but I think I'm gonna switch back to a table. I feel like a table's just a little more functional for us. I can put stuff on it when people are stopping by. Um, no one ever sits at this, so it's just all decor, which is fine, it's beautiful, um, but I think a table will just be a nice change. So I'm kinda on the hunt for that. I found a few I like. They're just so expensive. So I'm trying to justify it and I'm hoping maybe one will come on sale just around the holiday time. And then as you can see in here, since this is a fall <laughs> decorate with me, I just add a few pumpkins for the entryway. I don't go crazy. Um, I think it just takes a little bit. You walk in, you get the fall smell because I have a fall candle burning. You see a few pumpkins, but you didn't have to really like clutter up the space or just spend a ton of money. I gotta stay here for some time It was just a couple days ago that I got the itch to switch and basically I'm trying to get a lot of the orangey tone woods out. It's gonna take a little bit because like so this is Chase's new desk so I don't know if I'm gonna paint it or do something with it. I kind of want to switch out his desk chair but I haven't made it to that point. But we did have another orange chair back here. It just never got used. No one was sitting in it. I would occasionally. It had like a blanket and a pillow and a basket. It was just so much clutter and I felt like there was always dust and just like dog fur underneath it. 
So we took it out and sold it and I replaced it with one of the trees. This was actually, I think the tree from my office. Um, and I feel like it still adds warmth. I love it has the greenery in here. I love that this is um, seen more. So these trees are my favorite. I'll link it for you. I talk about them all the time. You're gonna see them throughout this entire video. But back in my office, no one goes back there. And when I'm working, I'm like laser focused. So I love it's here in the first room that you see when you walk in. I see it because I'm gonna take you around the corner. <laughs> I walk this hallway all the time. You can spy, you spy one right there. But every time I walk past this area, I can see it. So I actually get to enjoy it more. I love that we added like the concrete um, stone in here just for another element. So just so you can see the room from this side, I love it. It's like simple and clean. It's still like manly. It's not like super girly. Still loving this clock here. I will say one of my future projects is to find new ottomans for here. I'd like to find them a little bit taller and maybe rounder. Um, these were just thrown there because I had them. They're actually outdoor ottomans from Walmart that I was just making work, but I definitely wanna find some different ones. I've been on the hunt for a while, so I'm wanting to switch out like these pieces, that piece, and this one. So definitely this front of the house definitely needs some work, so you'll see some makeover videos as I find those pieces. Time has gone and I grew up I somehow made it through without losing sight mm. And I still wonder where you are and if you found a way So this is our guest bedroom. It's not exactly how I would have it styled if guests were coming, but um, just on everyday basis, this is what it looks like. So when people come over and as it starts to cool off more, I put up white curtains right here. They're just kind of sheer. So when we still have hot days, which we're having here in Oklahoma, I like to be able to close it off just so all the heat doesn't come in. And Savannah has a lot of her sleepovers in here and I like for it to stay dark so they can sleep in because they stay up so late. So if I was actually like hosting or taking photos, I would actually take these curtains down. So keep that in mind. You can have two sets of curtains and have just like your everyday realistic curtains or pillows or comforter or whatever that may be. But then you can have your pretty ones. So if you're hosting or taking photos, whatever it is, having people over to the house, you can switch them out and it really doesn't take long at all. Um, this is just white bedding from Ikea. You can tell it's a little bit wrinkled. I probably should have come in here and like tidied up a little bit, but I didn't. Um, once again, here is another one of those trees. I just love the way they look. So in this room, a few things I'm wanting to work on minus these. So like when it actually gets cold outside, I'll probably switch them over to the white ones. I just haven't yet. I want to replace this piece. I know you guys saw me buy it and paint it, but that orange has to go. I thought about just painting the drawers, but I just want a little bit more updated modern piece. So I'll be getting rid of that when I can find something. I actually think I found something on Walmart, so I might be switching that out pretty soon. And then I'll probably switch out the nightstands as well, because once again, it's that orangey one. Wood. I just like woke up one day and realized I don't like that orangey wood. So I'm slowly switching things over. It's going to take a little while, but it is nice just to have a list so I know what I'm looking for. And then when I find a good deal, it's like, hey, I was needing nightstands and I can just pick them up when I find them. The stories I've been told, they never seem to leave my mind. This road that I am on, I gotta stay here for some time. Mm -hmm. Bruce is I don't bring you guys in here very often, so you're gonna see some changes. Um, Savannah got the itch to switch. 
So I'm letting you guys like figure out if you can tell everything that's changed and then I'll talk about it. So the main area is over here. She got rid of her desk. She just never used it. She does homeschool like on the sofa or in bed or at the kitchen island or kitchen dining room. And she just wanted to clear out stuff she wasn't using, which I love. So she created this space over here instead of the desk and chair she wasn't using. I moved the chair into my office. So you'll see that here in a second. She took down her swing as well. She just wasn't using it. And I think that's it for in here, but it is just like a nice, calm, cozy room. Oh, she did remove one other thing over here. She used to have lights that plugged in here and went up and around and she took those out, but I just think it looks so nice and so clean and crisp and just calming in this space. And they go, and we have to try and keep up, cause this life's so much more. Ooh, and I still want We're gonna go in right here through this little nook and into my office. This is probably one of the most like least decorated spaces in my home and it's because no one comes in here but me. When guests come over, I can just like close the door. Um, so there's been some changes in here. As you can see, I added a treadmill. I've been doing a lot of walking and weather here in Oklahoma is just not always the best. So I wanted to know on the days I couldn't walk outside, I could walk inside. So I put that in here. Um, I brought Pearl back out. I don't know if you guys had even noticed, I haven't been in here much cleaning. Um, but she had been tucked away in my closet because um, we had like pictures taken. I added Savannah's chair that was at her desk in her room in here. It's not like the perfect spot, but Chase will come in here when I'm working and we're like, basically having our business meetings for the week and he would just have to like sit on this or over here and it was too far so it's kind of nice he can just sit behind me and I can like tilt my screen and we can figure things out um so this room's just one of those multi-purpose rooms like I work in here um I work out in here I'll show you my closet to get ready to gasp <laughs> like no matter how many times I clean this space it just doesn't last because there's just so much work and there's just so much change with what I do for a living. So you can just see it's super duper full. Like, and I'll clean it up. I'm sure you'll see another video where I come in here, I tackle it, I get it all organized. But this time of year is just like super busy for me. So there's just a lot going on. Plus I do an Amazon video once a month. So I'm always ordering products and like testing them out. So that's the scary closet, but at least out here it stays clean. So that's one of the reasons I switched offices with Chase is because in that front office, there's no closet. And as you can tell, I definitely, definitely need one. Now we're gonna talk about the living room. If you're wondering where George is, Chase is actually taking him to the groomers, so that's why you're only seeing Tiger. So this is one of the changes I made. I actually um, used this dead space over here. I feel like it's just a huge, wide um, walkway that never gets used. Um, so I actually put the boys' bed and um, toys back here, and it has worked out so well. And the toys are perfect because the toys only get played with when they're going outside. So every time we come home George grabs a toy and takes it outside to go to the bathroom like every single time and we have toys all over our backyard if you can like see them out there um, so it's just nice and convenient that way he can grab it here take it outside and then when I do clean up I'm not like having to walk them all over to Chase's side of the house and go in his office they just go right here so that's been a nice change I did not fluff up my sofa for you so sorry it looks a little sad and frumpy <laughs> 
I get asked probably 10, 15 times a day, every single day about our sofa. So I'll try to remember to link it for you. It's not an affiliate link, but you guys seem to love that thing. So I'll link it. Um, like I said, I haven't changed it too much in here. I do have fall out. I'm forgetting this is like a fall home tour. Um, I just have a fall candle from Ross and then these pumpkins are from Target. But if you grab a can of spray paint, you could definitely just create that look for less. And then over here, I tweaked our fireplace just a little bit. So I got rid of the basket down here that was like red, orangey and switched it out for that one. I just added a throw and this pumpkin's actually from Target as well. And it's like a pillow. So I just love having that out. We'll throw it on the sofa sometimes when we're just laying around. And then up here, I just added a few pumpkins to make it feel festive. And then I did add some of this light wood up here. This is what I'm really loving. And as you can see, I found it at Marshall's for basically 10 bucks. And then I found this matching base for, oh, it doesn't say. I wanna say it was right around, oh, there we go, 15. I should probably take, there you go, that price tag off. <laughs> Just haven't got around to it. But when I was doing my fall decorate with me video, I didn't have those. So I thought I would show you just kind of how this room's coming together. This piece is kind of starting to bother me, so I gotta figure out if I'm gonna paint it or do something with it. But we'll head on into the kitchen and dining room now. Hey, darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling. We could get out of town, see the beautiful... I don't feel like the kitchen and dining room have changed much if you've stayed caught up on my videos. So if you only watch my home tour videos, I did switch out these chairs right here. Um, they used to be like the black metal, but I walked into Home Goods and found these and I was trying to get rid of some of the black in my house. Plus those metal chairs were super cold to sit on and now that it's becoming cooler outside and winter is just right around the corner, I wanted to switch them out. However, they are very easy to clean. If you have kids, these would be harder because this is more kind of like a basket weave down here but um savannah is the only like child in our house and she's almost 13 so not really worried about that you could also just have your kids set on a towel or something if you really wanted them but i know that's a lot of work every time but in here for fall i like to add just like a ton of tiny pumpkins into like baskets and bowls i feel like it's just festive but i also kept it very very neutral so some people love to add color for the holidays i like to keep my neutral because if i put up colors then um i just get itchy i get my itch to switch and i just take everything down whereas if i decorate it to a match the rest of my house i don't mind leaving it up so that's why i do that i also picked up this wood sign from Ross, um, I really like having this ledge to decorate every holiday. I always find the perfect piece for it and I feel like it's always at Ross for some reason. So this is how this space turned out. Pack our bags and get in that car. Leave a little note and we'll drive real far. I never know if I should call this our mud room, our laundry room. I typically say both because I feel like it's a two for one. I feel like on this side, it's our mud room. It's where we come in and drop everything. We have storage. We have like vacuums, the dog stuff, but over here is like the laundry room side. I will say in here, I don't think anything's changed. Um, and I didn't do like a deep clean for you guys. This is more just like real life like i think chase vacuumed the floors but like my purse is down normally i'll declutter some of this and hide it and make it look picture perfect but just wasn't in the mood today so you guys get to see just a little bit more real life um but over here there's not much i want to change like i've loved since i've added this mirror here i feel like it really makes the space feel taller i love my baskets i've had those since we moved in 
pillows work, bench, this whole side's great. Um, now over here on this side, I would like to tweak these shelves a little bit. I just need to redecorate them. So one day I need to take all that stuff down and then put just a few items back up. I have way more up there than I actually need. Um, so other than that, I mean, it's not a ton of work, but that is something I'd like to work on. But as far as like everything else, I love this basket. I wish I, wish I had a nook to like push it into. I was hoping when I ordered it, it would fit over here, but it's just too wide. And then I'd have to move all that stuff. So if you keep your dogs in your laundry room ever, or their food, or they eat in there, I have an air purifier in here. It is so nice to have, and they actually make a big difference. So if you don't have one of those, definitely check them out. I'll have some in my Amazon store, so I'll have that linked down below in my description box. Strive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in This little hallway brings you down into like our master suite side. And I'm not gonna lie, I finally have this room exactly how I want it. Like I love everything about this room. I don't plan on changing anything out. We had a chair over here I wasn't loving and so I switched this out, but that was during a video. The only other thing I might switch out is this basket just to go with the lighter wood one day. But like, I love our bed. I love, love, love our bedding. <laughs> I love the rugs. Um, ever since we put the fireplace in here, I feel like it just brought everything together and I'm so excited to decorate it again um, for Christmas. It just makes it nice and cozy in here. You guys know um, pretty recently we switched out the blinds. So once again, if you only follow my home tours, those used to be like white wood blinds. We switched them out just so it stay darker in here in the mornings and we absolutely love it. So this is just one of those spaces. It's good. It's go. All I have to do is keep it clean and I'm not going to fix anything else in here. One more thing though, just so you can see, there's another tree in here. That's how much I love these things. I know it could be a little bit overkill, but they just make me so happy. I think they're the most like realistic looking tree. So I will put them in every single room if Chase will let me. I just keep ordering them and buying a pot <laughs> and then putting them in there. When we first moved in, this bathroom was one of my least favorite, like, spaces based on design. We didn't get to really pick anything out other than the paint and hardware, and I wasn't in love with the tile at the time. I was trying to get away from like creams and tans and go more like white and grays, and this bathroom was already done. Like we couldn't rip out the tile unless we wanted to spend thousands of dollars. But what's so funny is like my design style has kind of come full circle and I'm actually appreciating those cream tones more since I'm going more organic modern. And so I actually love this space now. It's one of my favorite spaces. I just love how calming it is. I love the wood tones. Um, so this space actually makes me way happy now. I've always loved the design of it like the function and where everything is um it's just been so nice to have i love an attached closet in a bathroom so if you're building or remodeling or just have the option to choose something like that it is so nice when you get out of the shower just to go straight in your closet to get ready you don't have to go into your bedroom i don't know i've just always loved that we had it in our very first home um and it was a lot smaller than this house but i still loved having that feature um, i just find it helpful our last house didn't have it and i really really missed it so this is the bathtub this is like our walk-in shower, so we have no glass door. That is another thing. If you are designing a house or remodeling, building, whatever, it is so nice not having to clean a glass door. You just walk like right into your shower. 
And then this is like our water closet with our toilet. And then back here is our walk-in closet. So sometimes you have to get creative with closets. So in here, our builder only put us this area for shoes. And as you can see, Chase pretty much takes up that whole shelf. And down here we had rods where clothes would hang. I just didn't have enough clothes to hang that much stuff, especially since our closet's so high. And these are actually called seasonal racks. So there's a bar right here. I can pull it down and get these. I have them all up here too. We just don't have that many clothes to fill this closet. So down here, I just ran to Walmart and these are just shoe, shoe cubbies or those cubby for bins, those cloth bins and four fit perfectly. And so now I have all this shoe storage and I needed more of that than clothes. So definitely just look at your closet, figure out what you need and you can always find a way just to make it work. Another tip I've given in the past is try to display your clothing and your accessories like you would in a store because that's why you go in and love things. If you go into a store like Ross or TJ Maxx and all the clothes are just so tight and you can't even look through them, you end up leaving. Um, that's how your closet is. Then you're just missing out on all your good clothes. So make sure your clothes have room to breathe, display like your handbags, your shoes, maybe even your jewelry and belts. I'm telling you, you will wear so much more of your pieces, even if you have less, if you can see what you have. Pack our bags and get in that car. Leave a little note and we'll drive real far. Let's get out, we can leave this city. Let's drive to the open air. Once again, this is another area I didn't like tidy up for you. So sorry about that. There's toys all over the yard. Um, but this is a space during the fall. I wish we could use it more. We definitely use it more in the summer when it's actually like super hot out here. But during the fall, you know, school's back in session and Savannah dances most evenings, but it is nice to come out here and just enjoy it. Um, so some of the things we've worked on, we've moved her trampoline. So this is where we keep our above ground pool um, during the summer. But once we take it down, we like to put the trampoline over there. That way if it rains, um, we have a stone and she doesn't have to walk on the grass to get on the trampoline trampoline whereas when it's over here she has to walk this whole way to get on it so we always just switch it out like that um, everything else is looking pretty darn good I added some mums back here I was gonna add these to my front porch and then I chickened out with the pop of color it was so funny I had someone that follows me over on Instagram say my house is like a mullet it's like business in the front and then party in the back because I'll actually put like colorful flowers out here I typically add them over there in those pots I don't know if I'm going to this year I feel like this is enough since we're not out here very often um, the the only other project I need to do is like deep clean back here. Let me show you. It's been a while since we've been out here. I don't know if you can see that. It's just like so dirty. And then one day I need to sand and just like refinish this table. It's super dirty, it's super dusty, and it's super dry. So I need to just sand it, put a new stain on it, and then seal it really well. And then once again, I just need another really good <laughs> deep clean can you see all that definitely needs a little love back here and then i guess those bushes out there we're gonna just give up we cannot keep them alive so we're probably just gonna take them all out get rid of them and just act like it never happened because our soil here is just terrible it's absolutely terrible we've watered those things every day and they're just not meant to be out there so those will probably be coming out very soon Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you liked this video, definitely head on over to my channel. I have a lot like this so you can get caught up. And if you like the style of my home, my next video is actually going to be an organic, modern, how to decorate on a budget. So if you want tips to kind of get this look, definitely make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss my next video. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you in the next one. Bye.